Well, hello, this is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video five of the Gas Venting with Table series. Today we discuss GVRs C25 and C26. If you have not watched the first four videos of this series, it is time to do it right now. Other words, this video will not make sense. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA of Canada, and I'm using the 2015 edition. GVRC25 discusses this scenario where our vent connectors join together before going vertical in the common vent. Now we call this a common vent connector manifold, and they also call this a manifolded common vent in the description of this picture, which is actually found in the codebook. This GVR tells us that we need to derate the common vent capacity tables to size this part of the vent connector that is common to both other vent connectors, and we have to derate that by 10%. So here is my example. I've got a 100,000 BTU fan assisted furnace with a two foot vent connector rise, a 36,000 BTU draft hood equipped water heater with a one foot vent connector rise. They are sharing a common vent that is 20 feet tall and they do have a manifolded common vent. Because the vent and vent connectors are done with double wall vent, we're gonna use table C3 to size this. I'm not gonna go through the sizing examples for the vent connectors, if you've sized it properly, the 100,000 BTU fan assisted furnace will be four inch from this point at the furnace right up to the Y. The hot water tank will be four inches as well from the draft hood right up to the Y. Now we get to the common vent connector manifold. Now in order to size that, we're gonna look straight into the common vent capacity tables starting on page 200 for table C3. So as discussed in previous videos, we need to add up our total BTU load, which equals 100,000 plus 36,000 or 136,000 BTUs. Now we need to look at our common vent sizing tables at the 20 foot vent height. If I come down at D, P, F, and N, I will find out that a five inch vent is good up to 165,000 BTUs. But now I need to debrate this by 10%. The code describes this as multiplying this number by 0 0.9. 165,000 times 0 0.9 equals 148,500 BTUs. Now this number is more than the 136,000 BTUs that I require, so 5 inch is great for my common vent and for the common vent connector manifold. Had the result of my math been less than the 136,000 BTUs that I required, I would have had to up the vent size by 1. GVRC25 also clarifies the maximum length of the vent connector manifold. It is maximum 1.5 feet long for every inch of pipe size. Now GVRC26 clarifies what we need to do when we have an offset in our common vent like they have in their clarifying picture in the back of the code book. In this example, we have a 75,000 BTU draft hood equipped water heater with a two foot vent connector rise, which is a single wall vent connector and a 150,000 BTU drafted equipped furnace that has a three foot vent connector rise, which is also single wall. The height of the common vent is 50 feet and because we have single wall vent connectors, we will be using table C4. I will not be walking you through the sizing of the vent connectors, but if you sized it correctly, you will have a five inch vent connector for the water heater and a six inch vent connector for the furnace. As always, we need to add up the BTU loads when we're sizing the common vent. We have 75,000 BTUs plus 150,000 equals 225,000 BTUs. And now we need to come across at 50 feet in the common vent sizing table. And let's go over to six inch. If we come down at DPN plus N, we'll find out that we are good to 284,000 BTUs at this size. Now, because our common vent has an offset in it, GVRC26 tells us that we need to treat this as if there's two extra elbows in it that are derated at 10% each. So we need to derate our table value by 20%. In order to derate by 20%, the GVR tells us to multiply the table value by 0 0.8. So 284,000 times 0 0.8 equals 227,200 BTUs. Well, we need 225,000, we have it. And if we had a number that was a little bit less than that, we would have had to up that vent by one size. So a six inch common vent will work perfectly for this example. GVRC26 also describes having a maximum length of offset. And once again, that is 1.5 feet for every inch of pipe diameter. 
And thankfully we've made it to the end of this video, and we have more. We're going to cover more GVRs coming up in the next video, but until then, have a great day.